Okay, what to expect at your first appointment. So I've actually posted some videos below that will help you get to where our office is located. Uh, if you're having any issues navigating or finding where we're at, I've tried to make it as easy as possible to find our office. Um, but if you're having any questions, uh, I know some patients, they're like, they'll drive by just to make sure, okay, I know where the building is. Um, I've tried to do as much as I can um, elect, be digital, so you can like go online and Google and, and find where we're at and kind of see the surroundings and everything. Um, but I understand that that's not for everybody. But if you have any issues or you're struggling to find us, remember, give us a call, and that number is 520-230-3999. Again, that's 520-230-3999. We can give you a little bit better direction to get to our office. Um, but the next step is to actually just make it to your appointment. When you come into your appointment, there is some paperwork we're gonna have you fill out. So be prepared for that. If you wanna arrive 15 minutes before your appointment time, that would be great. That way we can get started. Um, I do want you to know that I do value your time. And if anything comes up, please reach out to us. Let us know if you're not able to make it. Um, the best way to communicate through our office is through text message. So if you have received a text message from a 415 number that says, hey, your appointment's scheduled, you can actually text us back at that number. And I actually see those a lot faster than I do getting to voicemails. So um, if my office staff can't get to you and get back to you as soon as we can, like text message is always gonna be the best. So that 415 number is our texting number. And then we do have a voice number. Unfortunately, it's not the same. And I won't, I'll spare you the long details on why we can't merge the two. Um, I'd love to have the two just have it be one number, easy to remember, but um, unfortunately that's that's not how things are set up. So um, so text us if you're having any issues finding where we're, where we're located at. Um, and when you come in and fill out the paperwork, this is just helping us start to build a relationship with you and understand like where you're at in your hearing journey. I have some patients where they don't know where their hearing's at. This is the first time they've ever had their hearing tested. I have other patients where they have had their hearing tested before. They do know they have hearing loss and they haven't made a choice yet to move forward with hearing devices. And I have other patients where, yeah, they've had hearing devices for years and years and they're just getting relocated to this area or they are not satisfied with their current provider and they're trying to find somebody new and they're coming in for the first time. So this, this first appointment is really for us to get to know each other a little bit better and, and help me understand where you're struggling when it comes to hearing and where you wanna see improvement, right? So this is gonna be kind of us mapping out, like here's the areas that you wanna hear better in. So now we have a path and we know what we're gonna continually follow up with to make sure that you're hearing in those environments and those situations a lot better. So first step is to fill out paperwork. After you fill out the paperwork, you're then gonna come into the testing room where we're gonna go through a few different things. We'll go through some of your paperwork, um, but since you've gone through a lot of the stuff in these videos, it's really gonna help prepare you so that we don't have to spend the time in your appointment going through all of this stuff. Um, Cause I do want you to understand how we hear and what might be causing you to not hear as well as you, you, you could be. So, um, so watch those videos and be prepared to come. If you have any questions, like I said, feel free to ask those at your appointment. So we're gonna look inside your ears. We're gonna make sure that there's nothing blocking sound from hitting your eardrums. After we look inside your ears, um, some of these other videos that you're already gonna be seeing explain the audiogram and like what we're looking for. So we're gonna test you in a soundproof booth. And when we test you, we're trying to find out where sound, where you're hearing it the softest. So you'll actually hear a beep beep. And every time you hear that, those beeps are gonna get softer and softer. And you have a little button that you're gonna press. Like every right when you hear it, you'll press and let go. And that lets me know, hey, you heard that. And then we're gonna get softer and softer until we, you don't hear it at all. So I know you're not, cause you're not pressing the button. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit louder. And I'm gonna test you several times to find out where are you truly hearing it the softest. Um, and then the, the middle portion of the test is where we jump into our cognitive testing, where I'm gonna make sound loud enough. Like, do you still understand and can process 100% of the words or is your brain atrophying and struggling to process sound because it's been deprived of sound for a certain amount of time. And I'll dive in a little bit deeper in some other videos to explain all of that as well. After we do that cognitive test, 
um, we're gonna jump to the end, which I'm gonna test your cochlea directly, okay? We wanna fine tune and figure out exactly where the problem, where the issue is. Now, during the whole testing, if I see that there's certain things that are red flags that are saying to me, hey, possibly we need to have further testing done through like an ear, nose, and throat, or possibly medication or surgery might be the op better option for you, then I'm gonna bring those up in your evaluation and let you know, hey, this is what I'm seeing. But I can tell you 95, 99, 98% of the time, like most of the time, patients don't, they don't need medication or surgery. They just need hearing devices, right? So uh, we'll go into a little bit more detail on the hearing devices. And I'm gonna, again, post another video to kind of go through all of that. So you kind of have all the information you need before you come into the appointment. So I, in the past, we've had you come in and we spend like an hour, hour and a half just kind of going through all of these steps and all of these things. It can be very overwhelming. So um, in the next couple of days, like watch some of the videos that I posted. Make sure you watch them all before you come into your appointment. But that way you at least have a foundation um, in regards to like what to expect and, and we can move forward in this journey together. And if there's any holdups or anything that you feel like, hey, like I'm, I'm either nervous or I don't know, like let me know because if I don't know what's happening, then I don't know what options we need to look at to help serve you better, okay? So I hope that helps in getting you established for your first appointment. Again, I'm so excited to meet you for the first time and uh, just get to know you a little bit better. And thank you so much for choosing Heroes of Hearing and we'll see you in uh, just a few days.